I think it is who's to awaken and to what. Yeah. Now, let's, can we just, uh, do you believe what you are is confused about what it is? But there is confusion about what it is, yes? But it would seem to be obvious it's not com coming from what it is. Yeah? So, what it is must be looking at what it is from another point of view. Let's say what it ain't. And so, from what it ain't, it ain't what it is. Yeah? Because it's a very big topic of of arrival or goal or it's like the uh you know the the spiritual olympics are based on finding what you are yeah and having it stabilized but where does everything start from in time it comes starts with what we're not yeah so wouldn't it make sense that if you're taking the given that they say is the given in non-duality, which is being ourselves reality, uh, then maybe just be open to sense what doesn't uh, believe that, yeah? What is it that's trying to attain reality? It mustn't take itself to be reality. Well, why the hell would it want to attain reality? So... Does it feel like you're a person? Is there a sense of being an individual with private thoughts and private feelings and may do something that you wouldn't do and may not do something that you would do? Isn't that the starting point in time? We start in time, the there's a prejudice already of being what you're not. Yeah. So there's a strong sense of what we're not being what we are, obviously. Yeah. To the point where the sense of being what we are doesn't seem to get through, so to speak. And then we're left with the only possibility when after whatever happens, you get a vague sense that there could be more or something else is going on. And yet every ship would be launched from that harbor, that port. Yeah the port of what you're not. So in a weird way, every journey that you go on to find out the truth is a journey that reinforces that you're not the truth. Yeah. So after being confronted with this year, all these years and years of trying to arrive at some place and seemingly uh, always failing, and even if you do arrive, you seem to be evicted pretty quickly pretty quickly, yeah, that maybe there's a, another way of looking at it, not looking at it as I failed once again and that I have to do more or it's got to be clearer or better or more purified or whatever. You must have exhausted that, that card, yeah? I mean, you've played that card so many times. It's not a winning hand, yeah? So recognizing that there's a confirmation bias that we're starting as the thing and in the view of non-duality the thing is a non-existent thing yeah from our view the 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 thing is an existent thing and it's the thing that's conscious not a consciousness of a thing a non-existent thing but a conscious thing. Yeah? So that gets that's the established point. Not what you are. In this little time and space capsule, what you're not is more established than what you are. Yeah? And the only way many of us could entertain what you are was as what we're not. That's the only way we could entertain it. Yeah? And from what we're not, we were not what we are. It's just obvious because you're already something. And that something needs to be purified or used to arrive somewhere and on and on and on and on and on. 
and it's almost as if we've we've gone through the species of horses and they every one of them t dies so to speak and we end up riding a dead horse yeah it ain't about the horse it's the jockey so to speak yes so this message maybe it works better because obviously when you wake up you feel like it's you waking up if you are in infinite space you feel like you're you're coagulated in one little place yeah that little idea of i am is used to imply there's an i am paul and everything revolves around the paul not the i am yeah da, 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 da. and so every time you hear a topic about the i am you hear it as a paul yeah, and it seems like Paul has to be convinced of something before anything is uh, becomes possible. Non-duality, the way I see it, is a negation of that premise. Yeah, of what we're not. So Ramana would said this important, I think, very important, in different ways. And if you read a number of people's, uh, you know writing down his teaching this would be in all of them so it's an important part where he says uh there's a presupposing of a non-existent thing yeah let's just say the thing we won't give any meaning to it yet the thing yeah thing here his view would have been there's a presupposing of a non-existent thing and what's being presupposed doesn't change the fact that this is a non-existent thing What's being supposed, presupposed in time is that the non-existent thing is an existent thing. Yeah. Well, no, so what? No big deal. Mix a little mix of non-existent, existent. How can you go that wrong? Yeah. And now figure it out later. But you won't figure it out later because every later is going to be entertained as the non-existent thing taken to be an existent thing. Yeah. This is the dilemma. So... Every wanting to get out of it is reinforcing the idea you're in it. Yeah? And it happens so fast, there's not a process that is, I feel, that's uh, available in this time to get before that process. So the process of the head claiming the non-existent thing to be an existent thing, I believe is the quickest process there is in time. Yeah. And I humbly believe that what comes after that process cannot infect that process. But that process can infect what comes after it. So when you are in another process trying to get out of the original process, what it turns that process to get out of it is into a condition of called self can't get out of self. The smallest self, the feeling of a long-lasting, independent, separate thing. Yes? It's a manufactured, it's a sense, it's not true. But everything that's thought about, everything that's attempted to be understood, everything that's grokked is grokked from that point. That you're an existent thing. Yeah? That you are the I am, so to speak. So, as a body. That process infects every other process. You could do something. This is, I happened with me when I was uh, engaged with the Course of Miracles. It became obvious that the body seemed to be the big obstacle. Yes, I didn't know exactly, but there it was. And so I was keen on whatever could sort of weaken that body idea. And there was a lesson in the Course of Miracles, which was, I am not a body. I am not a body, I am free, for I am as just God created me, something like that. So for a while there, I would be almost like chanting that. I'd be chanting that lesson, I'm not a body, I am free. And then I noticed, yeah, <laughs> I noticed the only thing that would be chanting it's not a body is a body identification. Yeah, so what I'm trying to share here, I saw, I've seen. So 
the body was taken to be me and I was trying to get out of a body as a body. What's not a body doesn't chant it's not a body. It's very clear it's not a body. It's only the bo- it's the body identification that in most cases doesn't want to be a body because it's a fucking drag a lot of the time. So it's chanting I'm not a body and but it wants to have the experience of not being a body as a body. <laughs> you don't see the frustration how are you going to fix that? How is the body going to fix that? It's not. But if you see you're not the body, then there's no need to fix it. Now, as a body when I believed I would be hit the point where I wasn't a body, I would I was assuming all that stuff that implies I'm a body would stop. That hasn't been the case. Cuz I'm not doing it. I have never been doing the selfing. I'm not choosing to be my own worst enemy. I'm not choosing to hate myself. This is a this is a mechanical activity that goes on awake or not because we're all awake basically. We may seem to be asleep to that or we may seem to be awake to that, but that that is that awakeness, yeah? So all this stuff just led me to see the incredible and I'm just sharing from where here the incredible value of negation it's it's not netty netty because usually there's one man or woman at the end of netty netty which is you <laughs> but this is a negation of the one that's chanting netty netty not this not this yes it's a negation of that after you negate everything else that which negated everything else gets negated yes and there you go yeah what happens i don't know you find out Yeah. Now you don't believe the thoughts. You don't. They're false evidence and why they seem to be so true, I was I was having them as false evidence. The non-existent thing was presenting itself as the thinker. Yeah. As the doer, as the haver, as the seer, as the feeler, but it ain't. Yeah. The telescope hasn't ever seen a star, a star. The greatest telescope has not ever seen a star ever ever yes we are like the telescope to awareness yeah the body is like a telescope for awareness if and it isn't even that but let's dress it up that way yeah so every day your head says i'm the one i'm this i'm that that i is represented by a body When you're remembered, you're remembered as a thing. When you're worried about, you're worried about as a thing. When you take yourself to be something, you take yourself to be a thing. Yes. How best to get to non-thing is by negating thing. That's all. Simple. Yeah. You can't get to non-thing as a thing. You can't. People have this wish as a thing they want to be there to experience their absence they're not going to have that yeah a thing is not going to experience non-thing you see the thing as non-thing yeah and you lose interest in experiencing you do you lose interest in knowing you lose interest in a lot of stuff yeah yeah It's almost as if well-earned ignorance, not just ignorant from the get-go, but you thought you were really had it going on and then you realize you get dumbed down sufficiently. <laughs> like spiritual ignorance. It's great. Yeah. It is. So That's the premise here. Like it or not, that's the way it is. There's nothing new in non-duality. Uh yeah. Thank God it's like not not 40, it's only not 2. You know, could you imagine if it was night not 533 things? No, not 2. Uh where am I going to find this 2 that I'm not? Right where you're sitting right now. The head's thinking it's 
about you as a thing, and then you and then you're thinking about other things as a subject. Yeah. So subject object is the event all day, and we're not that. There you go. <laughs> <laughs>